The cookbook recipe is an analogy to simplify the understanding of the process of protein synthesis. So your grandmother's house, known as the DNA, contains this giant cookbook, which is known as DNA. So this book is so big and so heavy that it cannot be taken out of your grandmother's house. This book has 46 chapters known as chromosomes. So your grandmother has attained these chapters, 23 of them from her mother's family and the other 23 chapters She's got them from her father's family. In the various chapters, there are many, many recipes. These recipes are known as genes and they have the information for making specific types of food. In order to get to the recipe, you need to open up the pages of the book, which is basically known as unwinding and unzipping of the DNA. Because the DNA cannot be taken out, this book is too big to be taken out of grandmother's house. What happens is that you do a process of transcription where you write down this recipe onto a piece of paper, which is known as the mRNA. You'll take this piece of paper, which has the recipe written down out of grandmother's house. And eventually you'll go to the kitchen where you'll use this in order to make the baking that you'd like to make, which would be the protein. But in order to make this recipe, you'll find that there are many ingredients that need to be added together. So you'll arrange for those ingredients to come to you. So there's different delivery people from different shops which will bring the different ingredients. Those ingredients are known as amino acids, and different delivery people known as the tRNA or transport RNA or transfer RNA will then bring the different amino acids and they'll bring them in the sequence that you ordered them based on the recipe. By putting these ingredients in the correct order, eventually you'll make what was coded for in that recipe which would be known as a protein. I hope that that example makes it easier to understand some of the functions that occur inside this process of protein synthesis. So if we look at it here inside of the nucleus, we've got DNA, which is very, very large. A small portion of DNA that has the information for a protein will unwind and unzip and that portion is copied we said that is what we use in the example as being the recipe and the entire DNA was known as the cookbook. And this recipe that was copied down in the form of an mRNA is taken out of the nucleus, goes to the ribosome where the different ingredients are joined together. Those ingredients are basically the amino acids that need to be joined in a specific sequence in order to make a particular protein molecule. In the next lesson, we're going to look at the comparison between transcription and replication. They can be quite similar and difficult to distinguish between them. So we're going to look at that in the next video.